Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, as I always do like to do, uh, you guys always see my first flights as they happen. So uh, what I have here is the DJI uh, Avada. I bought the uh, Explorer kit with the, uh, with the Integra goggles. And I've uh, been watching a few videos and uh, hopefully I can get this guy up in the air and not crash it. We'll see what happens. Uh, I've got the, uh, the Motion 2 controller. Never used a motion controller. You guys are going to see first time, first takeoff. Uh, I have done the firmware updates through all these. I've uh, bound them all together, done the firmware updates, etc. Uh, so we're going to try this and see what happens. So uh, you guys are going to see it real time. And I have another camera looking at the uh, landing pad. So you'll see that too. Uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay guys, I think I've got everything set up here. I set it up to uh, auto record on takeoff and I think I got a screen recording going here. So I'm going to hit that red button twice. Yeah, and that did start motors, so we're going to hit it one more time. Well, I thought hit and hold. There it goes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little trouble controlling here. It seems to go one way. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, folks. It's going around in circles. And I don't know why. Doesn't seem to be responding to the controller. Yeah, I got something phony going here because I'm pointing straight ahead and you can see the... It finally stopped. There I can point the camera down. Yeah, I don't know. And the, yeah, uh, I got something weird going on here because it is not, uh, it is not responding to the controller. I can move the camera, uh, however, uh, just watching the, uh, nah, maybe I was just doing it wrong. Maybe I wasn't tilting my, I don't know. Let's try this again here. I thought it was supposed to go forward if I tilted down. Let me try that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, folks. I can't get any, uh, any forward motion out of it. Yeah, now it's like I'm holding the controller straight ahead and it's spinning in circles. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know here, guys. I am, uh, I am not comfortable here at all. So, so if I turn this way, so if I, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I just, I don't feel like I have any control over it. It's spinning in circles and I don't know why. I feel like I'm holding my wrist perfectly forward. So here we are, folks. Uh, I've got the goggles up and I'm looking at the drone. So if I'm holding it perfectly forward, if I turn it this way, it should turn. 
I turn it that way, it should turn. And it seems to be doing so now. But like right now, I stop. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, uh, maybe I didn't have my arm perfectly straight. I'm hearing it from everybody how intuitive this is. Yeah, so I don't know. Pointing straight ahead and it's spinning around in circles. You got me, folks. Uh, I've heard how intuitive this guy is and uh, and I'm not getting it. And I'm afraid to uh, I'm afraid to go very far out there with it. Uh, so there I'm spinning it. Let's turn it the other way. Let's turn it the other way. Well, if I go far enough with it, if I take it out of my hand and go far enough with it. Guys, I, I got no clue here. <laughs> uh, maybe that's why. It, it's just spinning around and I, I don't know why. You know, everybody talks about how intuitive this motion controller is. Yeah. I don't think, I don't know if I could get the drone back to me if I flew it out there a ways. I am going to bring it back in, shut it down. Uh, maybe there's a way to reset parameters. Look at it spinning around, and I feel like I'm holding the thing straight. Man, I got no clue, boys. I got no clue what I'm doing here. So I want to I want to go to my left. So I turn it to the left, and it and it's going to the right. And I want to go to the right. So I'm going to turn it to my right, and it's still going to the right. Well, then it kind of stopped. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if I can bring it back over the landing pad. Hell, I'm afraid to bring it back towards me. Uh, so if I'm looking at it, yeah, I don't know. I can turn it, and it'll kind of turn back. But it overshoots, and it doesn't. So I'm turning to the left, and I'm looking at my wrist. I'm turning the motion controller to the left, and the drone is spinning to the right. So it's clearly there's something wrong. I'm going to uh, I'm going to land this guy. And uh, maybe we can restart and try it again, but something is not right here. Uh, I'm not in control of this drone. Well, at least we were able to land it. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut everything down. I'm going to restart, see if maybe there's some kind of controller calibration or something in the menu. I don't know, but I can tell you it was not responding uh, appropriately to the controls and uh, I was not in control of that drone the whole time. <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm ready to send this thing back to DJI. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm just telling you, I was in no way in control of that drone during that flight. So I'm going to shut it all down and fire it up again and let's see what happens. So, my understanding is you turn this way, the drone will turn left. You turn it this way, the drone will turn to the right. It wasn't doing that. Uh, no matter which way I turned it, it seemed to want to spin to the right. If I turned it this way, if I turned it this way. Uh, so, I, guys, I mean, if you saw me doing, was I doing this or that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that again. Maybe, it, is it tilting it? Not that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to uh, fire it back up and try it one more time. We're fired up again, uh, and I can uh, I can kind of see the uh, the screen okay here. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we can uh, fire it up. There's the motors. Okay, there it takes off. So let me, uh, okay, so, so let me uh, tilt it.
Okay, maybe that's what I was doing wrong. I was trying to turn. So there again, I was trying. To, I was trying to turn it, and it's tilting it. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> All right. So uh, so let's uh, let's very carefully let's see how. And, and it should have started a. Well, I don't know if it started a screen recording. Let's go in and find out. Let me hit that break button. That's the pause button. And I should be able to go in here and uh, yeah, so it is recording. I see the recording is on, so that's good. So we are recording the screen. Oh no, I stopped. I'm started again. Back button. That's what I needed to do. Okay, so I've got the controller again. I'm going to hit that. So, so, so let's see if we can go out into the field. Okay, this is a little better. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Okay, there we go. And there's our home point. Here's the other thing about this guy is situational awareness. So it took me a second there. Uh, I feel kind of dumb that I didn't get that figured out. But uh, anyway, heck, let's go ahead and crank it up here. That gives you a pretty good sensation of speed, doesn't it, in normal mode. Coming back to us. Yeah, you saw it. I could hear it put on the brakes there. Let's uh, let's go a little higher. I'm going to use the joystick to do that, and that is working. Yeah, so you tilt it. I was trying to twist it, and you tilt it. You know, you. Uh, I, I used to play uh, video games with uh, joysticks, and I was used to that tilt motion. Uh, but there again, I I feel kind of dumb sitting here looking down. And uh, and the uh, uh, you know the fly the drone in front of me, but uh, okay, let's go ahead. Let's get some altitude. Go up, and it's not. I'm pushing straight up on that button, and it's not going up very high. I wonder if yeah, that pushes it forward. And how much battery life have we got left? Part of the problem with what I, the way I see, is, uh, yeah, I can see how high I am in distance, etc. Now, by I have to move that die up there. Yeah, low battery, so it's returning to home. Well, let's see what it does. Can I move that camera down? So I'm going to take the goggles off here, guys, to see where it lands. Uh, so, you're not going to see exactly. Yeah, so uh, it got fairly close to the landing pad. I thought I could use the scroll wheel to lower the camera. I tried it and it didn't seem to work. So. Let's throw another battery in and uh, and try this again. You know what I just realized? <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a case for this guy. Uh, so uh, the batteries are back at my house. The other batteries I didn't throw them in my bag. I thought I had uh, everything ne needed. I have a, another couple of batteries charged up, but I I didn't bring them with me. Well, it's a shame I didn't bring my other batteries with me. Uh, and that's the thing, I'm still, I ordered a case today off of Amazon. And then, you know, I'm used to having my whole kit uh, with me. Uh, okay, a little bit of an auspicious start here. Uh, I really, really struggled with, with this guy. I was trying to turn it like that. Uh, and that goes back to, I, I used to play uh, a video game called Mech Warrior, And when you would, 
yaw, or you would turn your mech, you would twist the joystick like that. So I'm sure that's where I got that from. But what you do is you tilt it. Okay, well, I've seen enough videos that I probably should have known uh, to tilt it. But it wasn't intuitive to me. So when they talk about how it's intuitive, yeah, once I did it a couple times, I go, okay, that's right. I thought I had a, uh, I thought I had a defective uh, device here. Uh, but evidently, uh, evidently not. It was the operator that was defective. Uh, but anyway, I, I can see that there's a lot to learn. I really wanted to throw it in uh, sport mode on my first flight, but we ran out of battery. So I'm sorry about that. But this kit will give you kind of a real life view of somebody that's not an FPV pilot at all. Uh, I had the DJI uh, FPV drone previously, but I flew it with the controller. First time ever using a uh, motion controller. Uh, so I'll get out and I'll practice some more and we'll, uh, we'll try some more flights with this guy. Uh, I promise you the next battery I stick in here, I'm going to put this guy in sport mode and, and we're going to get moving. Uh, I was hoping to uh, you know, fly under some of the stuff around here, but let me tell you this. Uh, one of the things that is... I'm, I'm just going to tell you as somebody that is used to flying with just uh, a, a, a either a smart controller or using my iPhone and looking at an FPV screen, you have no situational awareness with these with these goggles on. And I know you FPV guys fly with goggles all the time. While I was sitting here, there was a guy that walked up behind me and he was making a bunch of noise back there. I had no clue what was going on. Uh, so it made me very uncomfortable. So I turned around, you know, it's not like you can glance. Uh, so I had to take the goggles off, look, see what was going on. Uh, and it was okay, but I'm just saying that's something to, to uh, take into consideration. The other thing is, I'm bald and I need to wear a hat. I, I'm not going to be able to wear a hat with these uh, goggles on. I'm going to have to figure that out because in the sunshine I need some kind of head covering. Uh, but they, they just didn't work with the hat and I tried putting it on backwards even and it didn't, it didn't work uh, at, at all because it hit uh, even with the hat on backwards it hit this thing so uh, the goggles themselves for me uh, they work they, they work okay obviously uh, and I've talked about it many times I really only have my right eye that works here so it's difficult to see the whole, the whole screen I can move the the, uh, the little inner pupillary pupillary <laughs> inner pupillary device here back and forth and I can see that corner if I need to. Is that 100% necessary? Probably not. But I could see I could see the screen perfectly well so I could see where I was going. Uh, anyway, those are just my thoughts on, on the first flight with the Avada. I got to tell you there, for a second there, I was ready to pack it up and say, okay, DJI, you can have this thing back. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but anyway, uh, I, I once once I, I figured out that you are tilting it rather than twisting it, uh, that did the trick. So uh, we'll uh, we'll keep practicing with this guy and uh, and we'll get some more flights in. I'm so looking forward to that Mavic 3 Pro coming in. Uh, that's my kind of drone. Uh, at any rate, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I really do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, you, you're going to see a lot more flights with this guy. I promise you that. Uh, the, uh, the DJI Avada with the uh, Integra goggles and the motion controller too.